my, my question, question is, is, I really like it on the second, second three feet. But you, but you also play with young Kobe, Kobe back in 99, 2000. We were on the Lakers. Lakers. You, you guys didn't know. So, so did, did you see glimpses of the Kobe, Kobe that he ended up becoming? And, and did you, what did, what did you, you think about that? that? Like, like thinking about, about him? him. Well, well, of course, when, when you heard Michael Jordan speak, uh, uh, give that a ceremony when, when Kobe died, he called his little brother. Everyone knew Kobe, Kobe in LA, Michael. Michael. Everyone, everyone, everyone in the world knew, knew that. that. Like, he acted like Michael. He talked like Michael. He, he spoke, spoke like Michael. But uh, he, he, Kobe was, he was <laughs> close to Michael. I mean, as far as basketball, basketball skill. But, but here's, here's another funny story. story. I, played I played with Kobe, Kobe in 1999. So, so Jerry Bus came and sold me at the Root Chris Steakhouse. He had, he had like eight, eight girls, two memos, like, like he always does. does. He, he come and get me, me we're in there drinking, and you know, having a good time. time. And, 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 and Jerry was like, oh, Dennis, you want to come play for the Lakers? I said, oh, Jerry, Jerry. I, I know, know who you are. He said, no, seriously, come play for me, Dennis. I said, all right, Jerry, what are you saying? So the next day, let's get a COVID for a minute. The next day, he gave me a helicopter, fly to the form, so I get there at a press conference. Shit, this shit is really real. And I said, we playing for the Lakers? So as I walk through the corridor, to go to the press room, the coach come out, Harris, what's his name? Harris? Daryl Harris, right? He's walking towards me, so he pulled me to the side. He said, what's going on? I said, Jerry, what are you saying? He 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 said, Jerry, what are you saying? And I, and I said, you, you just, just got fired? fired? <laughs> 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 he said, yeah. I said, yeah, yeah, sure did. I said, fuck. I was just walking inside the door. I said, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this press, press conference. So, so go, go to the press conference and say, one little speech, stuff like that. And then after the press conference, I get a phone call. Jeannie Bus called me. Jeannie Buss said, Dennis, you want to go out to dinner? dinner? I said, yeah, yeah why, why not? I've been doing Jeannie since she's back and play all days. So she said, you want to go out to dinner? dinner? I said, yeah, great, cool. So they put me up in the wrist card in the, the penthouse. And um, she, she said, well, well you want to go out some drinks? Some drinks. Some so she comes back to her room. Of course, you know, take it there. So I start dating Jeannie Buss. It's a true story. I dated her for six months. Six, six months. months. That's, that's another one. one. So, <laughs> so <laughs> she owns the Lakers, guys. She's like, you know. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, so, so I started playing, playing with Kobe and, and Shaq and stuff like that. So, so I, would I would come to the stadium, stadium and people, people would come actually, actually come to see, see me uh, because, because they haven't seen me in six months. So Kobe and Shaq would be so envious of me just because they catered to me so much. Like we coming, coming to the game, game going, going, out going out to the game, game having parties, doing, doing this, doing that, that hotel, hotel stuff like, like that. that. They, they couldn't stand me on that damn team, to be honest with you. Let's be honest. And, honest. and I, played I played for 22 games. Two games. We, won we won the first, first 10 games. games. <laughs> the first 10 games. <laughs> Shit you not, I said this. Well, I got to take a break. I got to go to Vegas. This, this is a true, true story. Look at those guys. It's a true story. I said, after 10 games, I'm going to go to Vegas. Was, I'm like, damn, man, because I couldn't hear that shit every day. Every day, they bitching and bitching and bitching, complaining every day. Kobe and Shaq, Kobe and Shaq, they just bitching about everything. So I said, I got to take a damn break. I'm not used to this, man. You know, Chicago, we never did this shit. If we got mad, we got mad ourselves. But Kobe, Kobe was, he was the shit, man. I mean, you know, he's just like Mike, he wanted that ball. And as he was 18 years old, when he got that ball, and that and the final shot, ever since then, he became the Kobe that people loved, man. Very famous, man. Because he probably closer to Mike than anybody.